Uh, I would love to get a better idea of what your diet is and if you have any staple meals or food you eat a lot to get the, you know, the large amount of calories you need every day. Okay. I eat a lot. I just eat a lot. Whatever. I eat anything. Um, since I've been going to dig all day, I'll basically eat in the morning until I'm just bloated and feel like I'm going to barf. And then I'll go dig and then... You know, I take some I take some small lunch with me, but then by the time I get back for dinner, I am just like, it's like there's a vacuum in my stomach, and I just throw things down there, it's like, it just disappears. Like yesterday, I I filled my I have this big bowl, I filled it with spaghetti, and then I ate it, and I ate three of those, and then I ate a couple other sandwiches and some other stuff. Ah, I just eat tons. I just eat everything. Uh, but one of the one of the things I eat a lot of here is coconuts because we have tons of coconuts we have basically unlimited coconuts so often twice a day usually like in the morning and the in the evening i'll make cereal which is like a whole bunch of shredded coconut some oats some raisins peanuts and then some water and uh you know I'll just eat it just like that i don't cook it or anything you just just eat it oh there's once many years ago, I actually just ate handfuls of oats, just raw, right from the container, because I was so hungry and I couldn't keep up with the amount of calories. So anyway, yeah, I just eat a lot of everything. I don't, there isn't like a specific thing. I do like pizza though. Oh man, I could go for like six pizzas right now. Oh, and, oh. One of the things I used to do when I lived, you know, in civilization, is when I was, when I, when I was just not keeping up with the amount of calories I was using, I would go and buy a dozen donuts and I would just down the whole thing on the spot. Now, the most probably sickening time I did this, I ate two dozen donuts all at once. Like I ate a dozen donuts and I was like, God, I'm still starving. And I just ate a whole other dozen donuts, two dozen donuts all at once. And I've eaten like three like big pizzas before. Um, I used to I used to go to the store and buy pints of ice cream, like the really really rich one with tons of calories, and I would eat two of those at once. One one time I ate four of them. It was I was just so hungry because you know when I'm like doing that that was actually when I was running track and field, and I was training all the time, just just trying to keep up with the amount of calories I was using. This is this has been a uh, a situation all my life. I burn lots of calories. If I ever slowed down, I'd probably just blow up into this giant guy. Alright, YouTube comments here. This guy asks, first comment? Why yes, that was the first comment. Oh, that was the easiest question yet. <clears throat> Alright. How many calories do you eat per day? Rough estimate. Oh, it looks like someone has answered this for me. Let's see how it is. In many of his videos, he speaks about how much food he eats. It's a lot when he is working really hard. And not so much when doing small amounts of work. I would say anywhere between 2,000 to 10,000 calories per day, depending on what he is doing. Oh, that's like dead on. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I'm sure I've gone over 10,000 when, when I'm like really working hard. Any progress on the kid's pedal car? Ah, it's, I think I just showed that. Um, I don't know. It's kind of on the back burner. I work on it a little bit here and there whenever I have time but not a lot of progress right now. Did my political views change on it? Okay, this is a Donald Trump question. Um, did my political views change on Donald Trump since he has taken office? Actually, I don't really have any poli poli political views or any particular, particular opinions about Donald Trump. I don't know anything about the guy. And I have not been keeping up with US politics. I did make a video a while ago about, about him saying, hey, give him a chance. But basically, my motivation for that was I don't want the U.S. economy to collapse yet. Because I have some savings in U.S. dollars. And just just don't collapse the economy. Just just everyone chill. Don't wreck it. It's okay. Everything is fine. And, but literally, I, I know nothing about Donald Trump. So I, I don't have any opinion. Sorry. <clears throat> How big is a big tree? Well, that depends on your perspective. If I am an ant... A seedling is a big tree. However, if I'm a planet-sized titan, I'm gonna need a tree the size of a solar system to be big. 
All right, why aren't you posting videos about digging? Okay, let me think. The best answer I can give to this is that I'm just, just totally focusing on the work and I'm putting everything else aside just to get this thing done and I've like compartmentalized it where I'm just like, okay, everything else go over here. I'm just taking care of this thing, blam, and everything else is just kind of put to the side. Because it could literally take me years to get this done. And I'm like ni over 90% of the way done. And the only reason I've gotten this far is because I'm just going like, like full out on this thing. How come you've not built a drag line to dredge the river? Oh, okay, there's a bunch of... Okay. The river that I'm cleaning out... How do I explain this? Uh, just dragging something through would be very difficult because... Okay. It's like a third just mushy slop. Just mucky, sloppy, wet, bleh. Like, you pick it up, it's just... Pfft. It's roughly a third kind of like more solid stuff, like leaves, roots, whatever, vegetation, that's kind of compacted and become this solid stuff that you can cut out and like get a block out of it and kind of put it somewhere. And then as it dries out, it becomes pretty solid. Those are, those are my favorite parts. But then there's a third, which is just like logs and tree stumps and like just old, just jungle hard wood stuff that's fallen in there and just it's there then that's you know today i smashed my knee prying a tree stump out of the out of the stuff so a lot of these tree stumps and logs and there, i mean there's one part where there's an enormous tree it's about that far below the surface i don't know how i'm gonna get it out right now i'm ignoring it because it's kind of far down but at some point i'm gonna have to deal with this enormous tree that's just under the, the stuff and it goes like right across like i'm gonna have to cut it underwater to get this stupid thing out. so anyway the point is dragging a bucket through there would just it would just get stuck on stuff okay where do i get internet hold on so this is on top of the houseboat and this is an antenna aimed 15 miles that way there's a tower that sends signals to this thing. It's about $85 a month, I think. I don't know, DeShana pays for it. Uh, but thank you to all the people who helped me pay for that. That is super appreciated. Uh, why didn't I save the sailboat and sail it? Because I am way busy with other stuff. I'm not going to be, be doing any major sailing anytime soon. Um, doesn't mean I won't sail in the future, though. But the, the reason I cut the, the masts off the sailboat is because as soon as I parked the sailboat here and had those big masts, I started getting visitors, like officials coming by. Because anytime there's a sailboat and there's masts, it's just this beacon that says, money here, come and harass me, come and get money. And oh, as soon as I cut those masts off, no more visitors. And ugh, like, I wouldn't have cut the sail, I wouldn't have cut the masts off if it wasn't a problem, but it was very clearly a problem. You always have a new project on the go. Do you ever see yourself settling down? When I'm dead, I tell ya. When I'm dead and I'm not going easy. <clears throat> Take care and remember, have fun in the sun. Well, that wasn't a question, but thanks. All right, have you ever thought about trying to make Roman concrete? Well, yes, I have. And there are volcanoes in Panama. Not that far, I can see one, like right, right back there. Well, it's not that close either. It's like 25, 30, 40 miles away. I don't know. I could go to it, but I don't know that I could just walk up to it and find some volcanic ash. Um, now, I do at some point kind of want to look into, can I just use ash from, from burning wood? Like, what's the... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. There's just... Ah, there's so many things I want to do. And in all these things, there's all this stuff I have to figure out and you know probably do a few experiments and all, all this stuff so yes i have definitely thought about it the beehives you built like a long time ago how did that go are they still being used blah blah, blah. oh man that was a long time ago the beehives went great um i know they were used at least for a few years after that i don't know if they're still in use now 
because that was like a long time ago, but hopefully they're still in good shape and being used. I should make some beehives here. I, I do want to, I do want to do bees at some point. What do you, what do you say? Do bees. I want, I want to do some bees at some point. Oh, what fundamental issue motivated you to go along this path in your life? Oh, that's a big question too. Uh, let me think. I don't know if there's one fundamental issue, but if I had to sum it up, basically I did not, I did not feel that the, the culture around me was going in a positive direction. Like I feel like, uh, kind of like an evolutionary dead end is, is happening right now in a lot of the world. Like things are, are getting out of control and it's, it's not sustainable you know it's it can't be maintained indefinitely at some point I mean things are already kind of starting to crash where people are getting more and more miserable and having more more difficulty living even though we have more technology so like we have so much more technology now than we did did 50 years ago but now people have to work more hours to to get by it, was, it doesn't make any sense it's because things are crashing you know so I just wanted to, I wanted to try to find some way of living life that made sense, that made sense for me now and for the future, that where I could wake up and feel happy about the world, not liking, you know, my old life where I would wake up to bleep, 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 oh God, I got to get up and do this boring stuff I hate. No, now, I, now I have no alarm. I wake up at like 6 or 7 a.m. and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do today? This is great. You know, and I wanted to give that to my kids. Like, like let them have that kind of lifestyle where, where their curiosity is a good thing, not a bad thing. And uh, there's not advertisements all over all the time telling them what to think. It's just like a closer connection to nature. Because that's really important for, for ways that... I could spend hours explaining that. Okay, what's the next question? Do I have ice at home to throw on my knee? Uh, blah, 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 refrigerator. Okay, I do have a refrigerator. I don't generally ice things. I just kind of... Uh, I guess it depends what it is. But I, I don't generally swell up a lot when I you know, get injured or something. Like, pretty much always when I'm injured, I just kind of do nothing and just just back off for a little bit and then it then it heals on its own and I don't mess with it with anything so like my knee right now actually feels pretty good uh, I'm still not I'm probably gonna take tomorrow off and just chill out just to make sure because I don't want to mess around with my knees like I probably stretched the tendons a little bit I at least want to give them a couple days to you know tighten back up um, but yeah I don't I don't generally ice things but we do have a fridge and a freezer are the family still living mainly on the boat? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, Deshaina lives in the in the tower that I built for her. And I've been sleeping in the boat. It's because we, we like having separate areas. We Life is so much better when we have separate areas. Because then it's like, uh, when we're in the same spot, uh, it's just no good. Because, um, you know, I can be here. I can put my stuff where I want it. And she's there, she puts her stuff where she wants it, no one's messing with my stuff, and no one's messing with her stuff except herself. And so yeah, I'm I'm currently hanging out in the in the houseboat. I mean I go over there all the time. I mean we just go back and forth. We both use both places, but like this is basically my place and that's basically her place. And the kids sleep wherever they feel like. And they, they have they have a huge mess in my houseboat right now, and they have a mess over there too. <laughs> Which I need to clean up. Well, I need to, I need to get them to clean up. Don't you love it when you hit your bones and you have to recover by being immobile? Ah, yeah, not my favorite. But I am still mobile. You know, walking it off, so to speak. I think, I think everything's fine. <clears throat> okay, what's the relationship between you and Deshaina? All right. <laughs> I was wondering that as well. Probably none of our business. It is none of your business, but I'll, I'll tell you anyway. And just, just relax. Someone always gets upset about this. And just, just chill. Things don't always work out perfectly, and sometimes you just gotta work with what's available. So anyway, I'll try to keep this short. So I've always wanted to be a dad, right? 
And when I was younger, I had lots of hair. I was a good looking dude. I did lots of sports and, you know, did well in school. I, I didn't have a lot of difficulty meeting girls. I could be charismatic and stuff. But every time I had a girlfriend and I was never into, you know, short term things. I was I always had the idea that I wanted to meet someone I could have a family with. But every girlfriend I had, I would get to a point where I'd say, will this young lady be a good wife and mother? And I kept coming up with the answer, no, not at all. This is pfft, definitely not. And I blame this on our weird culture right now, which kind of villainizes like just the idea of someone being a, a good wife or a good mother. Like, I don't want to get super into the weird feminist thing that's going on right now. But like, if I'm if I'm going to be a dad, I'm going to be an awesome dad. If I'm going to marry someone and be a husband, I'm going to be a super amazing, the best husband ever. And women today are told that that's like a lowly way to live. That's not important. That's super important. That's much more important than getting your career and making money. So anyway, so I couldn't I couldn't find anyone that I like clicked with and I thought we could have a family with no chance of future divorce and that's one of the requirements requirements for me having a family there cannot be any chance of a future divorce kind of situation so anyway I met Deshana years and years ago and we we dated very briefly at the beginning it was just it was a disaster we just have conflicting personalities however we have a lot of similar interests um, and we share a lot of future goals like like lifestyle goals kind of things so we ended up just spending a lot of time with each other even though we didn't like we didn't mesh in a lot of ways we we meshed really well in terms of working together <sighs> maybe working together is not the right word but anyway we, we have a lot of similar goals that we, we we wanted to achieve in life so we ended up becoming really good friends platonic friends and then one day when i was like i don't know 34 or something she's like you know what we should just have kids together because i'm tired of like meeting these alcoholic guys who are jerks and they're just not going to be good dads and you're you're going to be an amazing dad and i want you to be the dad of my kids and i was like all right well let me think about this and we talked about it for like a year before we were like okay Let's do it. Let's have kids. Because I, you know, weighing the pros and cons, I just came up with a lot of pros and not many cons. Like the only con was that we were platonic friends and didn't have like this romantic relationship. But one, she she wanted to be a mother, which is, it, it sounds like it should be a, a, an obvious and very common thing, but it's it's not to find, it's not that common to find a woman who actually wants to be a mother. And then we, we both have a lot of similar lifestyle goals. Like, I'm living here not because Deshaina is here. I'm living here because I want to be here. And the same for her. She, she wants to be here whether or not I'm here. So we both independently want to be here living in this place. And that makes us have a very stable family. And, and the, other, the other thing that makes us have a really stable relationship is that we never got along that well in the beginning. So now if we get in a fight or something, it's like nothing changes. I mean, the kids can see us argue about, arguing about stuff. Oh, and I always do, I never try to hide arguments from my kids. If I'm going to have an argument with Deshaina, the kids can see. Because I want them to see how we work through a disagreement and, you know, can fight about something and then get through that and, and figure things out. So just as a side note. But anyway, we just have this very stable relationship, and that's probably the biggest uh, the biggest advantage to doing things the way we're doing it. Now, people always give me crap about, oh, how could you have kids when you don't have this, you know, amazing, loving, romantic relationship? Well, I think it is super awesome for anyone who has found, like, a romantic partner who can also be... The mother of their children and you know all this they get the whole package in once that is great it just doesn't always work out that way so uh you know i went with what was available and it's working um <clears throat> all right oh yeah so the shorter answer to that question is deshana and i have a 
are platonic friends and we just decided to have kids together and uh, it's working very well much better than my parents my parents were divorced her parents were divorced too Ugh, disasters yeah my kids have an awesome childhood all right next question